The Hispanic community of Osceola County is rich in tradition and vibrant with diversity. The library has asked our staff of Hispanic Heritage to share a special moment that helps illustrate the many facets of the beautiful culture. We invite you to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with us by sharing something special and interesting about your culture or country and hope you are inspired by the stories that found. Lo invitamos a celebrar el mes de la herencia hispana con nosotros, compartiendo algo especial e interesante sobre su país o cultura. Y esperamos que se sienta inspirado por las historias que sigue. Gracias. My name is Alma. I belong to the Poinciana Branch Library, and I come from what is known as La Isla del Encanto, Puerto Rico. I grew up in a small town on the countryside named Morovis, which is in the center of the island. And there is a local joke with everybody that every time you say you're from the Mo from Morovis, they say "Tú eres de la isla, tú eres del monte," blah blah blah. But even if it's on the countryside, even if it's a small town. It's such, such a beautiful place. Lots of greenery, lots of, it has so much to offer visually. And the local people from the town, they, they are great people. We're, we're so welcoming. And I miss that every day. I miss seeing my parents, my sister, going to hang out with my friends. I miss seeing my old schools and places like El Pueblo, which is like the downtown part of it. And it, it was such a comfy town. And now that it's Hispanic Heritage Month, I reminisce on all the little things we used to do, even if it's simple, it's so wholesome to me. Like at times we would go to my grandparents and we always had to play domino with my with abuelo. Or I would go to my godmother's bakery and she always had la, la pipita, which is like the top part of the cakes that she cuts out. Or even just sit down with a cup of coffee, which is my topic for today. And it's something that I cherish every day. And to Puerto Ricans, we always have to have our cup of coffee at three o'clock in the afternoon. Even if we had one in the morning, doesn't matter if it's hot outside, tenemos que tener nuestro cafecito a las tres de la tarde. And for today, I wanted to share you guys um, my favorite brand out of all the brands that Puerto Rico has to offer. Like we do have a high amount of coffee brands or everything, lo cosechamos y todo. But this one is my favorite. It's called Don Pello. And it's from the El Museo de Cafenciales, which is uh, the closest town to my town. So it's like 10 minutes away, 15 minutes away. And this, my mom introduced me to this brand of coffee. And we will always have it, either it's three in the afternoon, we will have it in the mornings. And it is that one thing that I always have to have in my house. So all Puerto Ricans, we have to have, tenemos que tener café en la casa, like, we need the coffee. But you can't find this over here, obviously. You can order it online, but I find it extremely special that my mom ships it to me. Um, every time I'm running out of it, she always sends me two two bags at least and it lasts long and every time i sip a bit of this coffee i just remember home with my mom my sister my family viendo el monte las montañas that are in front of my house and you know i miss those days in puerto rico she actually brought brought me this this weekend i hadn't seen i haven't seen my mom in two in two years until this weekend so it it, it was a special visit and of course, she had to bring me my coffee. I have to have this. But yeah, it's great. I think Puerto Rico is is great. The diversity, our culture, you know, we have so many things, coffee being one of them. But these are just the little things I'm, that remind you of home. And now being nearly four years since I moved over here after Hurricane Maria, this pulls me back. 
So I want to wish you guys a happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Keep those cultures alive. Don't forget where you come from, where your parents come from, and just, just enjoy your culture. Disfruta ser hispano y latino. Thank you. Hola, soy Alejandra. I'm the librarian with the uh, Point Siena Branch Library. Um, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my culture. Um, my parents are from Colombia. I was born here in the US, but they immigrated uh, to the US uh, about 60 years ago. So I do want to share some of my culture with you as part of Hispanic Heritage Month. So what I have today for you is a hat. So um, in Colombia, this is called a sombrero sabanera, sabanero or sombrero volteado which pretty much just means a tilted hat. Volteado means kind of tilted. So um, this is a hat that's very typical of my culture. Um, it's an iconic symbol of Colombia. Um, and this is made with something called caña flecha. So that's pretty much just a dried cane that is native to Colombia. Um, it goes through a process of being dried in the sun, dyed, and then braided to form this hat. So these can take hours to make, can be very, very expensive and can also be very different depending on what regions they come from. So this one is from Cartagena. It was made by an artisan there. It is quite old as you can see. The cane is sort of yellowing now because it is very old. But um, this is something that is very typical of my culture. Uh, well, thank you for listening. So my name is Paula Grimes, um, I'm a library associate here, and I'm actually biracial. I am half white, half Hispanic, um, and today I'm going to be talking about, of course, my Hispanic side of my family. Um, so my mother comes from the beautiful um, but small island of Puerto Rico, and um, growing up, I've always wondered about what her life was like in Puerto Rico, um, and especially my grandparents' life, because obviously I wasn't born during that time. Um, and they were in Puerto Rico during like the 60s and 70s, so I know that that was a big cultural change in Puerto Rico during that time. And so what I brought with me is a photo of my grandmother. Um, this photo was taken in 1969. And as a young woman, my grandmother, Anna, was um, a very strong, um, independent woman that wanted to do so well in school. She wanted to excel in everything that she did. Um, she graduated top of her class in college and um, she later became a social worker in Puerto Rico, which I think is incredibly cool. Um, but the best thing about my grandmother is that while she also wanted to excel in school, she was also um, part of many, part of a movement in Puerto Rico um, to separate or to become independent from the United States. So she was in a clan clandestine um, movement. So she would be a part of marches um, in Puerto Rico that supported this movement. And um, that is one of the coolest parts of my family is that, well, I think is the coolest part of my family, that my grandmother, um, while also showing that Hispanics can excel um, and can do anything possible, just like anybody can do anything possible. My grandmother is also a prime example of how um, women can be so strong and can be leaders in a movement. So yeah, that's, that's a very cool part of my family. <laughs> Hola, my name is Isa, and today I wanted to share a little piece of my mother's home country, Nicaragua. Nicaragua is a beautiful country located in Central America, rich with history and culture. 
On a visit to the city of Messiah, I encountered some street musicians where I was enchanted by the sound of marimba. The marimba is a handmade wooden instrument laid out very much like a piano and played with mallets, much like a xylophone. Today, I'll share with you a short piece of music that I wrote called Mi Nicaragua Bella. Thank you, disfruta y gracias.